Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We hey, got, welcome back. We got Toby Keith. And as you guys know, unfortunately, Toby Keith passed away last week. So uh, sad. With He had a battle with stomach cancer that unfortunately he succumbed to. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were hoping that he was going to be getting past that because we have done three videos of his on the channel. Mm -hmm. You know, we got into his catalog a little bit. We're not, you know, completely familiar with Toby Keith, but we definitely know him a lot more than before we started the channel. Yeah, for sure. And so in light of doing those videos, we had heard that he was battling stomach cancer, but we had heard some positive things yeah. and we were, you know, holding out our hopes that everything was going to be all yeah. good and we were going to hear some more Toby Keith in the future. And, uh, unfortunately that wasn't the case. And, uh, like I said, we, um, you know, are obviously not happy to hear that, but we wanted yeah. to come back to some of his music and honor him a little bit. Yeah. Honor him a little bit. So we're doing, going to do two songs. Um, it doesn't mean we won't do any in the future, but we're going to do two songs, uh, for this coming week. And we're doing this one here. Don't let the old man in. And I believe this is his last televised performance. Wow. That's going to be obviously live. Yeah. And we have never seen him perform live. No. This will be the first time. So this will be a first time hearing this song, first time seeing him perform live. And we're going to do another song of his, How Do You Like Me Now? Yeah, I've never heard that either. No, me neither. So um, this one I I feel like is going to be a little more emotional because it's his last live performance yeah. that he did and uh, Don't Let the Old Man In. I think some of the lyrics are talking about you kind of live in life in the right ways. Um, but like I said, we wanted to kind of remember Toby, uh, do some of his, his catalog. He's got, I think, a pretty large one, but... Yeah. Um, we've enjoyed the songs that we did. We've, what are the songs that we've done thus far? We've we done did Red Solo Cup. Red Solo Cup. As that's good as hard I to forget. Was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as that's one that like it. sticks out of my mind. Yeah. Um, as good as it once was, which was the bar related one yep. and courtesy of the red, white and blue. That's right. And the courtesy of the red, white and blue one was uh, pretty cool because it was for the troops. Yes. I like that one a lot. You know, one of the things that we noted was that Toby was a big supporter of the armed forces and, you know, when did performances for them regularly, yeah. uh, charitable stuff. So, um, he had a, you know, a good heart yeah, and definitely gave back to the community. Yeah. And, uh, he seemed like a fun guy too. Okay. After Red Solo Cup, I was like, <laughs> I want to hang out with him. <laughs> yeah. He seemed like he had a great personality. He was authentic. Um, yeah. you know, spoke his mind and I had said, going? yeah. And I had said, um, in uh, one of those videos, I can't remember which one it was, but that he was a really big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He, he was. And yeah. We, I had found out that he worked in the oil fields at one point before he became a musician. Mm, cool. And also he was a semi-pro football player. Ah, so that makes sense. That makes sense of, yeah. you know, he's a big guy. <laughs> You know, he's probably putting that to good use when he was playing football. So, yeah, perfect um, sport for him. Yeah. Anyways, let's um, cut the chit chat here and get into a little bit of Toby. If you enjoy the video, guys, make sure to just hit the like button for us. We appreciate that. Yep. Helps with your algorithm, and uh, you'll probably get more Toby Keith popping up on your feed. And we'll get to relive some of Toby's music a little bit more. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. the old man in I want to live me some more Wow, he's so skinny Can't leave it up to him He's knocking on my door and I Let's just restart it. Um, I just, I was so distracted because of how skinny he is. I he know. looks so different. He looks, I almost didn't even recognize him. So this must have been, it's 2023, right? So I'm guessing him maybe towards the end of 2023 because yeah. he's clearly fighting at the moment. Man, that's <laughs> wild. He looks so, so different. But I was just so distracted. I, you know, I want to take it all in. Yeah, right? yeah. And no, I, was, I almost didn't even recognize him at first. I was like, yeah. whoa. Don't let the old man in I want to live me some more Can't leave it up to him He's knocking on my door And I knew all of my life That someday it would end 
Get up and go outside Don't let the old man in Yeah, many moons I have lived My body's weathered and warm Just ask yourself how old would you be If you didn't know the day you were born Wow Try to love on your wife And stay close to your friend Toast each sundown with wine It was hard it was hard to get through yeah um, i'm assuming that's his wife yeah and uh you know that the song makes makes mention of his wife or you know um a wife at yeah, that moment a listener's and, wife. Yeah. yeah i can only imagine being in that position in her position you know what she yeah. would be feeling oh yeah and like you're sitting there watching your husband saying essentially about coming towards the end of your life and trying to remain as youthful as possible knowing that he's battling a life-threatening disease it's yeah. like that's just and all the lyrics were so representative of what he was going through yeah you know yeah. um I think like almost in two ways, right? Because he talked about your body being like weathered and worn and it's like from old age, but also from battling. Well, that's what I was thinking about. His body's clearly like looking at him. His body is weathered and worn. Yeah. And so that like the first time he said that, I was just like, geez, like just stab me in the heart with with that, right? Um, And the delirious, what would your age be if you didn't know the day you were born? Yeah. Like that's really, really poetically. Yeah, it's powerful because it's like, how would you be living your life if you weren't living to a standard of what you think you should be doing based off your age? Right. If you weren't worried about your age, like highlighting, don't let the old man in, Mm -hmm. you know, don't think about how old you are. Just live your life and enjoy it to the fullest. And don't worry about, you know, how, how long you've been here for. It doesn't matter how long you have left or Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. So, so many of those lyrics were so, uh, impactful and and relevant and uh you know like i said for his wife how how difficult that must have been to watch but also i mean even for toby right like you know he like he said with those lyrics his body's been you know battered and he's still going up there and doing a performance and uh, it's just you know sad to think that this is the last time that we're going to see him perform anything yeah i'd be curious to know like i don't know if you guys know the answer to this or maybe you do but if this was written prior to him getting sick and he had just made this when he was older and then it obviously was performed when he was sick or if he actually wrote this when he was already sick no i think this was uh written in 2018 because it was for a movie oh okay okay. i think he uh it was for a soundtrack of a movie with clint eastwood okay 
And so I think he wrote, wrote it for those purposes. It, Cause I feel like that's even more like ironic that he wrote it, like not even for anything to do with this. And now it's just like so fitting for his situation. Yeah. I mean, maybe that, I don't know if they, I assume they gave him the option to choose what song he wanted to perform. Yeah. Um, and like you said, it's, it was just, unfortunately very fitting yeah. for the position that he was in. But, um, but I think it also gives a powerful message to those watching because it's like, true, you know, he's going through that and he's singing this song that almost has a double level meaning, right? Like just, you know, like you said, with age, as you get older, people tend to maybe not live their life to the fullest because they've just gotten comfortable in their, their space or what they're doing or whatever, right. Or living based off of like what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But then you also have this layer of, you know, living your life to the fullest because it could end at any point when you're sick, right. Like, and you have a chronic illness like that. It's like even another layer to the weathered and worn aspect, like we said, right. Yeah. I mean, that's a valid point, right. I, you can kind of look at the the glass half full or the glass half empty. Of course, you know, we would love for Toby to be around longer to, you know, have him perform this song mm -hmm. more, but you know, hopefully the, uh, saving grace is that other people can watch this performance. It can resonate with them, yeah. you know, and be impactful in a way to push somebody to live their life to mm -hmm. the fullest and yeah. make the most out of it to know, you know, that nothing is promised and, uh, you know, to, to try to make the most out of everything that you can. Right. And kudos to him for like getting up and being able to do that. Like, I mean, physically, but also mentally that must've been very tough. Mm -hmm. So, well, and, and even that is fitting, right? Because I think it stemmed, the song stemmed from Clint Eastwood, like I said, I think it had something to do with Toby asking Clint Eastwood, how do you do it? How do you uh, continue to press on and make these movies and all this stuff at your age? Because Clint Eastwood's an old older, guy yeah. and he's still making movies. He's, I think, in his late 80s or something now. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that he's older. And so I think that was the conversation and how this song came to be. Huh. I could be wrong. Cool. But you guys can let us know in those comments. Interesting. So um, in light That's of neat. that, you know, that's also fitting because like Clint Eastwood, you know, getting up and making these movies and doing his thing into his late eighties, that same mindset is applicable to Toby to, you know, need to get up on that stage, yeah. do that performance, push through it, not let the old man you, in, in this case, it's not let the cancer in. Yeah, right. For sure. Um, which is, you know, clearly easier said than done. So yeah. uh, anyways, guys, this is, uh, we're going to wrap this one up from, uh, from Toby, but we're going to do another one. Like we said, yeah. uh, hopefully you guys, uh, appreciated the uh, performance by Toby. I know we did, mm -hmm. um, you know, really heartfelt and yeah. heartbreaking at the same time, but, yeah. um, you know, it's nice to remember and see his last performance. So I, I'm grateful that we got to check this out Me too. and, um, you know, hopefully his family and all his fans out there are, are yeah, doing all right okay. too yeah that's it from us today we'll be back with another one real soon and uh, hopefully we see you then thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one